Howdy folks, it is the Command Line Volpine here, and welcome to episode one of the Foxhole Podcast. So, don't let the name deceive you, it's not going to be one of your typical podcasts, it's more like an update video. I used to make these like once every other month. It's going to be mostly an update video for my channel, where I'm going to talk about things that are going on for that week in the channel and how things went the previous week. And since this is the first episode, we're also going to cover some things that have happened in the past up till this point because we have to catch up. Time really got away from me this week, so this episode is being recorded at home on the office software with my fancy microphone and all that good stuff. But in the future, I'm probably going to record these at work on my phone, so the audio quality is probably going to be worse. But we will be doing this layout here where pre-recorded footage of a game I've been playing off camera will be playing, and then I'll chop the audio in on top of it. Playing New World, just been playing it with some friends, and I figured I'd play it offline since this game's going to take a lot of grinding. We're not playing it on the channel right now. There was a lot of concern with uh, the long queue times the game was having. Also, a lot of, uh, I have a lot of different friend groups that are all playing it. So I had to decide, um, which friend group am I going to play with? Because I can only really pick one. I don't have time to play with everyone, unfortunately. Fortunately, the main streamers group, their their server that they picked had a big queue on it. So I decided, uh, I'm not going to go with them. We're going to go with just uh, my family that are playing the game. So that's what's going on there. And I'm just right now, I'm just doing solo grinding for this video. And yeah, in this Foxhole podcast, we're also going to be talking about gaming news, tech news. Probably try to avoid some political news, but then some stuff we'll probably still get into anyway because F it. But yeah, speaking of first gaming news, of course, let's just say, let's just dive into New World here. I wasn't really playing, planning to play it at first because of the news that came out of it, like killing 3090s. I don't have a 3090, but that, com but that combined with it being an Amazon developed game is also kind of like, uh, I don't know. I'm also not a Twitch streamer. I'm a YouTube streamer. So it's like, eh, I don't work for Amazon. I've worked at Amazon before. You can check out that video. I'll try to put it in the I card of uh, how I felt about working at Amazon. It was not a good time to say the least. So yeah, I also felt a little bad to support them, but at the same time, it's like, well, I still, I still buy products on Amazon. So it doesn't really matter that much. And then of course, just everyone started playing it. I wasn't really expecting it to be this big of a game. I didn't thought it would kind of fly under the radar more or less, but everyone's playing it, which makes sense. I think everyone is just really ready for a new MMORPG. They kind of stopped coming out after World of Warcraft. There was a lot of clones that tried to come out after World of Warcraft, and they all died. <laughs> World of Warcraft was the only one to survive. And then, you know, probably perfect timing that Blizzard got into so much trouble, and then people quit World of Warcraft and a lot of Blizzard stuff. But yeah, it probably is just due time for World of Warcraft to end. I'm really, you know, way back in the day, I was said, isn't it time for World of Warcraft 2? Because other MMOs, I'm guessing they must have learned from other MMOs, right? Like, they must have saw EverQuest, because EverQuest did EverQuest 2, and I don't think EverQuest 2 ever got that, uh, ever got that popular. I actually liked EverQuest 2 quite a bit, though. I eventually booted it up, and it was actually really nice, because, like, things like getting a house... And most video games that costs real world money. And I guess uh, New World, you can get a house without spending real world money for once. But yeah, back in the day, that used to be something you'd have to like have a paid membership on RuneScape to get a house and all sorts of stuff like that. But uh, EverQuest 2 actually had it so you could get it for free. And that was very cool. You could put stuff and furniture and stuff inside the house, much as I imagine you can do in World War, uh, New World, but I'm not there yet. So it just does feel like one of those things where I think they've looked at a lot of other MMOs over the years to try to figure out what were all the missteps, what were the things that people liked. Let's try to put them all in this game. Not to say that it's a fantastic game. It's not like, it's not like crazy good. It's okay. A lot of grinding. Reminds me a lot of RuneScape grinding. Um... Not quite as bad because at least there's resources all over the map and like RuneScape where, you know, there might be five pieces of mithril total that you can mine without being subscribed, right? In the world. So as long as you uh, 
if you went into any server that had any kind of population, you just might not ever be able to mine what you want to mine in uh, RuneScape. That's not quite as bad as a problem here. That was the other kind of big news article coming out of New World was uh, people, everyone was in the same part of the game, right? So everyone was going for the same quests, everyone had the same objectives, everyone was trying to get the same body skinned and everything, and you can skin other people's kills. That's like, pretty sure you could do that in World of Warcraft too. If someone left a body behind, you could skin it. The difference in World of Warcraft though is I think bodies disappeared in like two seconds. So... If you didn't skin it quickly anyway, it would disappear. Whereas here, it seems like they last a very long time, but uh, the respawn time seems really quick on a lot of stuff. I guess other, some other things do respawn a lot slower, which is still a problem for people at those points in the game. But uh, overall, now that less people are trying to join all at the same time, now that people are getting spread out a little bit more, I think that should become less and less as a problem as it moves forward. Because I haven't had a problem with it yet, and I'm only level level 9 at this part of the video. I think I'm level 10 by the end of the video here. What I do enjoy about the game, though, is they've added a lot of, like, Dark Souls-style combat, where you can, like, dodge, you can block. Um, it's very interactive compared to, like, uh, World of Warcraft, where you just uh, have 10,000 buttons on the screen to click. I know that the newer builds of the game, the retail version, you don't have to do that, but, you know, classic. You had to hit 100,000 buttons on the screen. It was pretty much like that for any old MMO. Like the one I grew up on was Dark Age of Camelot before uh, World of Warcraft, which I guess that game's still out. You can still play that. It's just, uh, it is subscription based. So it's like, oh man, am I going to pay $10 a month to play this game from early 2000? No. <laughs> it is a great game though. And there's also elements of that game in New World too, with like the three factions that are fighting each other. That's how uh, that's how Dark Age of Camelot worked too, with like castle defenses and stuff. And it looks like that's going to be in New World as well. I'm not to that point, but you know. But enough about New World. Back to other channel updates. The Cure Human All Tomorrow's Theory is doing fantastic. Way better than I really ever expected it to, just to be honest. I knew it would be good like i tried to i put a lot of effort into it to make it as good as i could uh, with my skill level that i had but still it is completely eclipsing anything else on the channel for lack of a better description Thirty-nine thousand views probably be forty thousand by the time this video goes up now believe it or not i do have videos that have been viewed more than that but it's like the first videos on my channel for some reason the friggin i talk about it all the time my first video ever Technically not my first video ever. I made a couple of YouTube poops, which are deleted off the channel. And the Chocolate World, Chocolate Rain Remix was the first, is the first upload that stayed on the channel. And that's just a repost of someone else's video that got deleted off of YouTube for some reason. But I really liked it, so I uploaded it again. Anyway, Team Fortress 2 Episode 1 is my first Let's Play that's on the channel. Actually, it's only at 57,000 views. For some reason, I thought it was higher. I thought I had a second one. I do have a second one. I do. It's uh, my friggin' science video I made. There's the History of Space Probes one, the one that is, hasn't moved at all, basically. That was the second video in the educational video series, but we had... Uh, it was the fourth video on my channel, if you count the Chocolate Rain Memix. Science Hour Episode 1. It's only had 6,000 views. That doesn't sound right. I thought science... I thought Science of it Hour got close to where uh, Team Fortress 2 got. Because Science Hour is this weird one that I still see as the top performing video on my channel. Every week, it's starting to fall. It's starting to get down the list. It used to be always like in the top three videos every day. But now it is behind like my latest Cataclysm uploads. The most important Cataclysm uploads. The is it is this game any good in 2021? video series did actually pretty well as well and those videos are starting to get past science hour may i won't be too much longer until the qr humans actually pass that uh that first team fortress 2 video which is going to be kind of crazy because i really hate that that <laughs> team fortress 2 video did so well because like guys that's my worst video i've ever made because it was like the first one i ever made i did like start and stop recording that like 10 different times just because I was so bad, but even even with it being a better take, it is still 
absolutely god awful. And they got rid of the ability to put in annotations, so they got rid of my annotations. So like, guys, stop watching this and go watch something else, please, because I don't want this to be your first experience on my channel, because I'm a lot better now. But no, that doesn't work. People don't read. They click it, <laughs> and then they watch a really bad video from 2011, and they're like, you suck. It's like, oh, that sucked seven years ago. Sadly, all tomorrow's theory video, the first one's peaked at this point. So I think it is time to get the second All Tomorrow's Theory video put out. That video will be coming out this week, which means I am not going to have a second video game series going, which you're already going to know because this is going up today instead of a second video series. And that's fine. I always upload two video game episodes a day, and one slot has been Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead for a very long time because we're doing the tutorial series, which isn't really a tutorial anymore. It's a let's play at this point because we're past all the tutorial stuff, right? But there's no reason to stop until we die. And then there's still some like super late game stuff that I can tutorialize, but I also just have to find it, you know? So that has one slot and that's also always doing very well. Whereas the second game series has been from the start of when Cataclysm started updating. I think it was probably Kerbal Space Program. Yeah, Kerbal Space Program was getting uploaded at the same time as the start of Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. So Kerbal Space Program, some videos did okay. I'm not really sure why some would get a lot of views and some wouldn't. But yeah, overall, did not do very well. Usually like one-fifth to one-sixth the amount of views of the Cataclysm videos. And then we did Diablo 2 Resurrected. Very, oh, the Den of Evil video is actually doing pretty good now. Episode 2 did okay. Episodes 1 and 2 always do pretty decent, though. Episode 1 especially. Interesting. The uh, Diablo 2 videos actually did catch up. But they're also, like, right before the Cure Humans theory. So they might they might be getting boosted a bit by the Cure Human. It might even be the recommended video series at the end of that video, which might explain what's going on there. But yeah, when those were getting uploaded, they weren't doing as well as Cataclysm. Slime Rancher is an old game, so I didn't really expect people to be super hyped for it, but I guess the news of Slime Rancher 2 did come out around the same time. So it does kind of surprise me that people didn't watch that as much with Slime Rancher 2 on the way. Yeah, it did very poorly. Second series videos never do well because most of my audience is the Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead audience, and that's fine. But I am trying to be a variety streamer. I'm not trying to just stream only one game. And I do get burnout all the time with like any game, really. It's kind of amazing that I've made it to probably going to be at episode 100 here very soon for Cataclysm Dark Days Head for this series. But eventually that burnout will hit. And <laughs> we're going to try to keep it going. But that's why I like to be a variety streamer so I can play any game I want and uh, move on from there. Oh yeah, Redneck Rampage has also, also come out during the lifespan of Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead here. And it's doing... Eh, it's doing okay. It's benefiting from being after... The all tomorrow's pity uh, theory video I'm, I'm sure although surprisingly the finale episode is doing the worst i'm guessing that's because it's a 47 minute long episode because for some reason that level was way 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 longer playing all the levels before it and man <laughs> i guess that can be our next little topic for the video here is old video games man like the first couple levels of redneck rampage that we played here i had a really fun time with they're not very not too complicated they're pretty straightforward and it was uh, quite the nostalgia trip. Actually, now I look at it. Oh, it was only the first video, only the first level. E1, M2 was extremely complicated. Uh, E1, M M3 was okay, other than like there was a dog, there was a dog house with a dog in it. You blow up the dog <laughs> and you go into the dog house and it looks a little weird in there, but there's no button or switch or anything. So you're like, okay, well, from there on, you're like, well, I can't figure out any way to move forward. I was like, well, it turns out you have to go into that doghouse and press E. It's like, how would you know to press E in the doghouse? There's no switch or anything. You just wouldn't know. Like these old video games, they were designed to like, you would just play them for weeks at a time and you'd just be on the same level for the entire week, just like scanning every square inch of it, looking for the way forward. Cause it's like not a long game if you actually know what you're doing. But if you don't know what you're doing, there's no way There's no way forward. E1, M4 was also a good level where it like, was not too complicated to get through it. E1, M5 was probably okay as well. It was E1, M6 was the one that got me. It's a 
sewer level and you know this mid 90s third person or first person shooter so everything looks the same all the directions look the same there's a mini map but it's the so there's no layers you know to the mini map it's just like all layered on top of each other but the map is like all over itself <laughs> and wraps around itself goes back on top of itself and at, at those points it's just like okay i've just got to turn on no clip and find the exit here because there's just no way and i was even looking at like a walkthrough or reading a walkthrough because there's no pictures i think i read that level's walkthrough out loud at the end of the video just because of how insane like you couldn't follow those directions if you tried so yeah nostalgia for very old games very strong but then actually playing them you're like oh wow we've uh we've come a long way in terms of game design as like user accessibility of like actually pointing people to where they need to go rather than just uh cutting off with no hints or anything and trying to find something very obscure that you would never think of you know facebook is down so that's the other big news for monday here it might be getting up any moment now it probably already is up but i'm kind of kind of give it some time because you know same situation as old world where people get really excited to get back on facebook and there'll be so many people on it that's probably not going to run very well for a while so i'm not going to mess with it right now anyway yeah facebook uh had a complete network failure or full dns attack they lost like five percent of their stock value in like a couple seconds facebook.com was set to sale uh more than 1.5 billion facebook users sold on the dark web um the staff can't get back into the building because their smart badges are built into their own facebook network actually it really sucks because i do use facebook it's like my primary social media platform yeah 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 call me a boomer whatever you want you know didn't like myspace that much for one thing like my parents because this is old enough when what my parents said mattered more didn't let me on stuff like that at first it took a while i didn't really like myspace anyway just because everyone could customize their profile in like any way they wanted which sounds cool but at the same time it meant that like your eyes were going to start bleeding from the things that people are going to put on the profile that are like crazy bright and all these different colors and i don't know if myspace could force play audio i think it could though if you just clicked on someone's profile it would start playing music and that is so obnoxious and so loud and so easily trollable you know so that's that's why when facebook came out i was pretty quick to jump onto that because it did just look a lot more professional and everything you can know what to expect a little bit more not saying i like facebook or anything but it's just that's the social platform that i really built up myself on and then twitter was just very confusing to me for a long time I had that had that boomer brain even though i'm only a millennial or it's like why do i have to tag things for them to be seen why do i have to at people why can't i just post to my wall but uh finally have that one figured out we've been trying to grow twitter a little bit but still it's nothing compared to the amount of people who follow me on facebook but yeah now i'm gonna have to go change my password and probably get my credit card info off of there and stuff i put it on there because we actually got we actually got monetized on facebook quicker than we got monetized on youtube figure that one out worked at youtube for seven years to finally get monetized here and i put like two months of work into facebook streaming and i was monetized on facebook but yeah i never made that switch youtube is just it's a lot easier to use speaking of which streaming because that was what i was trying to do on facebook a little bit was just to stream on it and still upload videos here and of course i went back to youtube to stream but i've stopped streaming for quite a while now other than our community nights with Tatsu Clan for both uh, Dungeons and Dragons and the community game nights. Those still go up as live streams, of course. But yeah, just playing games on my own, I've stopped doing. Uh, this is mostly a case of people weren't really watching them. And it is uh, two hours for each of those compared to 25 minutes with each of my videos, you know? That's a lot of time burned. The like count on the streams is actually a lot higher, but that's because I think... I promote all the streams when I'm going live on like all my platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Fur Affinity, Discord, several Discord channels. So I think more people come in that will actually press like on the video. 
but they don't comment or anything or talk, so. <laughs> Very little chat interaction, so that's why I don't tend to worry about it that much. And that's why I'm like, eh, we're probably just going to stop streaming unless it's a special event like I did the monetization stream. But even that still didn't get viewed that much, so. Don't really do the streams anymore. I don't really have time, because as you see, I didn't even have time to get a second video series up this week, so where would I find the time to stream for six hours every week? Not going to happen. Not anymore. Until some point where I become full-time on YouTube, which is the dream, and which is why the second cure, no, not the second cure, human here. The second All Tomorrow's Theory will be going up this week, and it's not about the cube being human. It is about what I think will be in the next All Tomorrow story because Cosmin is rewriting the story. So look forward to that. Oh yeah, and I'm still looking for feedback on the intro and outro to my videos now because I started putting those into videos. There won't be any on the Cataclysm series this week and that's not because I like decided to not have them. It's just because I accidentally uploaded my raw recordings instead of my uh, edited videos versions of them. It's not like not like a lot of editing. It was just uh, putting the intro in. It was sometimes a nor noise normalized when I have issues with it. But yeah, I just uploaded the raw footage on accident. That's why those don't have intros, but you can look at the last week's Cataclysm videos. The intros is way too loud. I'm quite aware of that. I don't think anyone complained about it, but I can tell for myself that it's way too loud. And then um, I fixed that for Redneck Rampage. You can tell on Redneck Rampage that the audio is better. And none of them have the outro yet. This video will have the outro. So you can tell me what you think of that. As well as the intro. It's just, these are just placeholder ones as well. I'm just using assets that are either free or assets that I already own, etc., etc. Video game assets that, uh, because those aren't monetized or aren't copyrighted by, uh, things on YouTube that will strike my videos. But yeah. Eventually, when I have the money to do it, I'll be, uh, commissioning new art and for everything and, slowly transitioning away from using Sam for everything. She's my persona, and she was mostly, you know, mostly using her to get for affinity users to check out my videos, if we're honest, because I have 3,000 people watching on for affinity compared to, but yeah, I think it was before I had 1,000 subs. This is uh, when I started putting Sam on the thumbnails and everything. Clickbait! No, she's my persona, so it's fair. And she's on the channel icon too, so... It's not quick bait. It's just my representation of me. Anyway, we'll probably be designing a new character for all that as well. As well as getting custom outros and intros, but I'll still be a long time away because I am broke. Anyway, that'll do it for this week's Foxhole podcast. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I know it's very, very off the cuff. It'll probably be even more rough around the edges here in the future because I'm going to probably start recording the audio on my phone. Although I'll probably be a little bit more focused when I'm recording it off the phone, as weird as that sounds. So maybe it won't be quite so cringe. Let me know what you think about the new intro and outro. And also, probably just the change to Command Line Volpine to begin with, rather than being Lanso 90. I'm probably going to still make that mistake in some video recordings when I'm just on autopilot <laughs> of how I'm introducing myself. Doesn't matter, you can call me whatever, I don't really care that much. We just wanted to switch to command line Volpine because it's a little bit easier to search for. Lanso90 was causing a lot of issues with people thinking it's Lance090. There's also another YouTuber who's Lance90, I think. So it's very easy to make a typo and find someone else. Command line Volpine also works better for this these theory videos that I'm doing a little bit more. It's a little bit more interesting name that kind of matches the theming a little bit more. You know, there's also command lines of video games, so it also works for the video game stuff that we do. So, I think it's an improvement. It's easier to brand as well. Not really sure how to brand Lanso90. It's just an ancient username that doesn't even make sense because I was born 92, not 90. There's command line Volpine. I can think of a hundred things to do with that. So, anyway, that's it for today. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to hit the like button. Keep the conversation going in the cons and subscribe if you would like to see more. Until next time, I hope you have a good day.